Hi, it's Heather from Strings and Threads. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. There's so many exciting things going on. I hope everybody enjoyed their day yesterday, whether you were celebrating Thanksgiving or whether you were just having a regular old day. I hope everything went well for you yesterday. Um, I enjoy visiting with each of you guys, so I'd love to hear about everything that's going on, like how did everything go? Um, and if you're not subscribed, Go ahead and hit the subscribe and become part of our little community, our little Yarny community. We have a lot of fun here. I hope, I have a lot of fun. I hope you have a lot of fun too. I like to start with a question of the day. So today's question of the day is, do you sing in the shower? And for me, the answer is no, because I get up way earlier than everybody else. So if I was singing in the shower, I think I'd have a lot of angry people in my house. <laughs> But even when I lived alone, I didn't really sing in the shower. I think when I'm in the shower, I'm just thinking about what's going to be going on in the day. I'm thinking about, you know, just lots of other things. I feel like I'm my, one of my most creative times in the shower. That's when I often will come up with ideas because that's when I have a chance to just be alone and have quiet and think. So my... Uh, Christmas crochet along mystery Christmas crochet along is live if you're interested in giving that a try I'd be curious if anybody has figured it out if they think they have an idea of what it might be after the first video I'll post the second video tomorrow and then the third one on Sunday so keep an eye out for that uh, thank you for all of those who are participating and joining along I just kind of wanted to do something fun I have ideas in my mind. I'm gonna see if they can get done of Christmassy type of projects we could do, especially little ones. And so uh, keep an eye out for that. I have a video, a new video tutorial that's gonna be available for everyone coming out early next week, like maybe Monday or Tuesday for cozy um, hand warmers. So cozy winter hand warmers. So keep an eye out for the, that if you're interested. I wanted to go through a couple of projects that I have recently finished up. And I might later on today, if you're not so sick of me, because <laughs> this is my second video for today and I have an idea for a third. I've been doing it from the files Friday, but I have a Christmas one that I wanted to bring up. So later on today, if I have a chance, I might do that. If not, maybe I'll just bring it up, bring it up tomorrow as tomorrow's video. Um, that's probably better anyway, then you guys won't get so sick of me. <laughs> So anyway, I have been working, and I'll put a link to it below, from a book called uh, Potted Plant uh, by Not Monsters, and he has a YouTube channel too. So I'll link his YouTube channel and his book in my description. And I've done several projects. They've been a lot of fun. I'm going. I'm making them for my coworkers at school, just because we always exchange little gifts. And I thought this might be kind of a fun thing. This week, I spent all my time working on one of them because actually it was a little bit more time consuming the other one than the other ones, but also I was working on some Christmas type things too, so I didn't have as much time to work on it. And I'm dis I'm sorry to say I'm disappointed. This is the one that I was working on. I was excited because I thought it would be really cute, but now, I don't know, I followed the pattern exact. I don't know if I could have done something different or if this is just a flawed pattern. You guys, give me your opinions about that. So, <clears throat> here's how mine turned out, which is really cute, but as soon as you let go, and when you have it sitting on a table, it completely flaps over. Now, this is with a dowel in it. I put a dowel in it. So, I'll take that out. Here's how it here's how it is. It is way top heavy. There, there is I, I can't imagine how he did this pattern and got it to stand up straight. I, I, I think it might have just been staged for the picture. I could be totally wrong. I don't know what I did wrong because I did it exactly per his specifications. This is the size of the base. 
I don't even know if a wider base would have made a difference just because this is so top heavy. And you know, even putting the, the dowel in it, it only made it made it so that it was going like this, basically, instead of flopping all the way down. So I'm disappointed that I spent all that time working on it and I can't even use it. I, I don't know how I could modify it. You know, I already tried putting a dowel in there. Do you guys have an idea of how I could modify it so that it would stand up? Because it, it would be really, really cute if I could get it to stand up. It does sit on a table, like the, the bottom does sit, but I just can't get it to stand up straight. And I'm very, very disappointed about that. I All those other ones so far, I would give rate five out of five. That one, you know, is just unusable. Unless I'm completely missing something. All right, there is one other project that I worked on and a coworker of mine's daughter just had a baby and she wanted a little giraffe set for her granddaughter or her, her, her daughter wanted the giraffe set for her daughter. And then because I knew her and she knows that I crochet, we kind of arranged it. So I did a hat and a diaper set. So that's the hat. I'm excited to give it to her. I hope she likes it. And here's the tail or the tail. Yeah, there is a tail on it. But what I meant is here's the diaper part. And I hope it fits her all right. This is supposed to be for like zero to three months. So hopefully, hopefully it works out. So I thought it was a pretty cute set. I didn't use a specific pattern for it. But I did look online to see what other people did and I kind of you know made up something based on that but I wouldn't write that down and try and either sell or or make that pattern a tutorial just because it's very similar to other ones that are out there and I don't want to get into any kind of copyright issues you know like I said I didn't copy anyone's in particular, but it's very close to a, a bunch of them that I saw out there. So I don't want to, you know, get into any kind of trouble there, you know, especially since I do patterns, I wouldn't want someone copying mine and distributing it. So I think I'm just looking around because I think that's all I had for today. And I hope that everybody has a great day. Uh, we're off today. I don't have to work. I don't have to work Monday either. So I'm pretty excited about the long weekend. Uh, so let me know what you're doing this weekend. How everything's going for you. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.